Welcome to a large model showman's engine, part 85, fixing a problem with the mechanical lubricator. This has been bothering me for a while. When I first bought this engine, this mechanical lubricator was adjusted in such a way that it flooded the cylinder with oil, and in fact I had to make a special tool to scrape the mixture of oil and soot which lined the inside of the chimney. It was feeding so much oil that the main problem was it emptied very quickly, so then it was providing no oil at all. Since I modified the pump, it would appear that it's not providing enough oil. I know that the pump was working and pumping oil into the cylinder, but by watching how slowly the level in the tank dropped, I didn't think that the pump was pumping sufficient oil into the cylinder. When I first got this engine, it really was pumping a stupid amount of oil into the cylinder. So I removed the pump and modified it. This is the current removal, and the pipe's a bit of a mess, but it has to be bent around quite a lot of difficult corners. When I last removed this pump, I made a video about it. Here's an extract from it. This is superheater steam oil, by the way, and as you can see, it's very thick and gloopy. Currently, I'm emptying the lubricator back into a tin, clearly marked steam oil. This takes a while because it's so thick. It's not quite so thick when it gets hot, though. No girlfriend jokes or double entendres in this episode. In my hand, I have a ball. This is a stainless steel ball, and here's the ball conveniently sat in the head of a screw on the bench. Next to it is a piece of pipe stuck into the fitting that I've just made. And at the top, that is a 3 8 by 32 threads per inch commercial union nut. First of all, I put the ball into the pump's outlet adjuster, followed by a spring that was just the right size. I found that in my box of springs. And now it's time to see if it works by rotating the handle. Well, there's not much oil showing at the moment. I'll keep turning. Here comes the oil and lots of it. The initial setting was with this fitting screwed all the way in, so now I'm screwing it out quite a long way. Time to test it again. Even by winding out the fitting to reduce its stroke, there's still far too much oil coming out of the delivery pipe. So I unscrewed it a bit further, and this time I locked up the lock nut to keep it still. And that's a bit better, but I still think it's too much. My showman's engine cylinder is 3 inches in diameter, which is quite big, but it doesn't need this much oil, because the smoke box and the chimney itself, and the little bit that fits in the top, are absolutely covered in a mixture of steam oil and soot. And this is not good. It's not too bad on a 4.5-inch scale traction engine, but on a 5-inch gauge locomotive, it soon restricts the flow up the chimney. If you watch this clip from the steam test yesterday, you will see how fast the lubricator moves when the engine's just basically ticking over. I soon got into a sequence. I undid the lock nut, rotated the fitting outwards one turn, retightened the lock nut and turned the handle. There does come a point though when the adjustment is all over with. This is too far out and as you can see, there's nothing much in the way of oil coming out of the end of the feed. So this is the pump at the very end of the adjustment scale. Time to slacken off the lock nut and rotate the adjuster one turn in. And here's the result. Some oil comes out at every turn, but not very much. A further half a turn in and the adjustment was complete. The pump appears to be perfectly fine. So where is the problem with the very small amount of oil that it would appear to be currently pumping? The problem can only be the oil pipe. If you watch the full-length feature about adjusting the oil level of a Foster-type lubricator, you will see that the original oil pipe was destroyed as I dismantled the pump, so I made a new one. And even though this one looks a bit mangled and bent into a very strange shape, it has to be that way to actually fit. I'm going to check the size of the hole in the ends of the pipe to make sure that it's not blocked with any silver solder. And the best way to check this is with a 1 16th of an inch diameter twist drill. And guess what I found? The pipe was blocked. Not with silver solder solid all the way through, but the hole in the pipe had nearly been blocked by the silver solder, and what was left of the hole was blocked by something else. I don't know where this foreign body appeared from, but owing to this major blockage in the pipe, that explained why the level went down very slowly in the tank. 
I drilled out both ends of the pipe using the 1 16th of an inch diameter twist drill and now it seems okay. I needed to repeat the process of adjusting the pump like you've seen in the video clip earlier. You have to get the feed of the pump perfect. Too much oil is not really bad for the cylinder, in fact it's probably quite the reverse. But the combination of oil and soot coming up the chimney is definitely not good in any way. The main problem if the pump feeds too much oil to the cylinder is the tank empties prematurely. And then you don't have any oil at all. When I first bought this engine I couldn't believe how quickly the tank emptied, which was about every 15 minutes. That's why I took it all apart and modified it. Even with the blockage of the pipe, the oil level was going down in the tank, so the cylinder was getting some oil, but not really enough. Hopefully it should be okay now. All I need to do is put everything back together, including the new cylinder cover, and then run the traction engine, and see how many gallons of oil it's going to consume this time. That is it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.